Hi, in this video we're going to show you a tool you could use that will give you a choice as to what browser you want to use when opening links in specific applications. So obviously if you're in your browser and you click on a different link, it's going to use that same browser. But let's say you're clicking on a link from an email or from a Word document, you could actually be prompted as to what browser you want to use. All right, so to use this tool, you're going to have to install WinGet, the Windows Package Manager. So if you want to read about it, I'll put this link in the description to get an idea of how it works and what it's used for. So then in order to use it, you'll have to install it. So when you go to the website here that has the actual tool we're going to use, there's an option here to install WinGet. And I'll put this in the description as well. It's just a you know typical Windows installer program. You install it and that's it. It's already on your computer. And then all you have to do to install one of these packages here is just run a command, which you could just go to the website. So we're using this one called browser select. So you just copy the command here, then open a command prompt. You could just right click to paste it in, press enter, and it will do the rest. Okay, so that's installed. But one of the keys to using this program is that browser select needs to be your default browser. So it should configure itself uh, the first time you use it. But if it doesn't, for some reason, you could go to your Windows settings, then to apps, and then default apps. And now I have browser select here, and it's set for the default for HTTP, HTTPS. Okay, so let's show you how it works here. So let me go to an email. So let's say we have this email here. And if you click on a link, it doesn't have to be a you know, text hyperlink. It could just be a button link like this as well, as long as it's a link to a web page. You click on it, and now it says, what browser do you want to use? And I could say, okay, let's use Chrome. Now it opens up in Chrome. Click on it again. Okay, this time I want to use Edge. Opens it in Edge. And if you click on Always, Let's say always open an edge. And now the next time we click on it, it'll open with edge by default. But it is possible to change it. So even though this is set to open with edge every time, you could go to another link and open it to get the uh, dialog box back. Or you could just go to your programs here or your apps, like so, and then go to the settings. So on this computer, I've been playing with this, so I have a bunch of entries here. So for example, let's say we didn't want Internet Explorer to be shown. We could uncheck it, you know, refresh in case you installed another browser, check for updates. So now, since we have this Adobe.com set to Edge, we could either pick a different browser or display browser select, apply it. And now close this. And now if we open it again here, you can see Internet Explorer is gone and now we're prompted again because we changed the settings. So one thing that I don't really like about this program is if you keep on making changes here, it starts to add them to your list and I don't see a way to delete them. You know, right clicking doesn't do anything. There's no drop down arrow to delete them from here. You could just change the options for which browser is the default or display browser select. So like for this website here, in WordPad, I have it set to Edge. But of course, I could come back here, set it to Chrome, for example. Now it opened in Chrome. Or I could just come back here and set it to Display Browser Select. like that. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. So let's kind of summarize here. Uh, so you need to go to the website here. Let me close that. Install WinGet. And once that's installed, come back, copy and paste this command here into a command prompt. It doesn't have to be in an admin command prompt. And then once you have that going, when you click on a link, let's go back to the email here. Let's try something else. Then you should be prompted 
and then you could either you know choose your browser each time or if you want this specific uh, website to be open with a particular browser you could click on always so the always button doesn't apply to the email it applies to the link you're clicking on and then once again if you just go to the settings if you want to change it you could come back choose the sites you want to do here and then change your browser or have it go back to display browser select and then you could even click here and add your own website if you wanted to do that and then you could change your action like so so next time you open something that goes to that website it'll use Chrome or whatever browser you choose so it'll kind of get you ready for um, you know any email that has Microsoft.com in it it'll use Chrome and so on all right, so hopefully that makes sense. And like I said, I will put the links for those websites in the description and you could try it for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.